Welcome back, guys, to Face It TV for the GSL eGaming Bets Cup. We have Clan Mystic now facing Kick Gaming. And if you just missed the last match, well, I don't know what to say. We just saw NIP getting taken out by Exasana, who got renamed recently, rebranded as Hellraisers. Don't know what happened. We saw yesterday they couldn't, they couldn't beat uh, Wizards on Nuke. They had a pretty close game against uh, NIP on Nuke, which is pretty much NIP's best map. So there has like, been like a transformative process that happened last night. I don't know what it was, but we're seeing a new and improved Hellraisers, at least, who are waiting in the grand final for the winner of this best of three, and they are jumping into the knife round. So this is very interesting. We have Inferno. It's picked by Kick. So I'm interested to see what they have to show there. We didn't really get to see much in <laughs> Inferno or anything but Nuke in the Group A and Group B matches. So, but what we did get to see actually was, I, I, for me, the outstanding player of Clan Mystic yesterday was actually Kyoshima. I mean, he was so consistently providing ridiculous stuff. Like he, I don't know, he seemed like such a mad fragger. Like he was so accurate. He had such good infight abilities. For me, he was a standout player. Kenny S, of course, is the player everyone looks to with Clan Mystic. But Kyoshima yesterday, I don't know, he was just playing so well. But Kick Gaming, they did win, or rather they did get the second place in Group A because they are a very good team as well. So you're going to say Clan Mystic is the definite favorite. But Kick, they have the resources, the skills to actually win this. And I would be, I would love to see like another upset like we just saw. I mean, NIP, that's, that's so interesting. But either way, we're jumping into the pistol round at this point. And right now we have a four-man initial play to basically defend against any ridiculous rush on B. And they get the time to rotate back to A. So it ended up working out pretty well for them. And you can see this setup on A could work out really well now. But it really depends on whether or not Kick Gaming can suss out what just happened. They can work it out. They saw only one player there um, as Emotion peaked the corner. And look at this. They're moving back towards B now. And we have a three, well, kind of three, four man setup over at A. And now they have three men pushing back up mid. They're just trying to catch out Clan Mystic. If Clan Mystic try to rotate or if they try to get information, they want to catch them in the midst of doing that. And it looks like they're going to find a hole and they're going to move straight on through it over at the long and they're making their way now onto the bomb site good play oh arrow man great shot there as well emotion coming in for another wonderful headshot onto sf so Haas coming in here makes a nice kill himself but it's a two on four it's not going to be easy to pull that one off and it looks to be that kick their patience in the opening pistol round is should lead to a victory here for this, uh, for this pistol round at least. And you can see Kenny S over there on the left of Kill Dreams, not really able to make a move yet, waiting for his teammate. We'll take out RMN, but there's no time. The bomb is ticking away, it's gonna explode, and there's nothing to do. So kick, I have to say, I do absolutely love what they did in the pistol round. They, and it was also interesting what Clan Mystic did. Okay, so Clan Mystic, they pushed a bunch of players down B to prevent any kind of ridiculous rush, like immediate rush from kick. Then they, they rotated back. They biased A with their players, okay, which is a bit of a risk, I suppose. But still, that kind of a play is really nice. Then the problem was that kick didn't really allow them to, to get any information. So they just played it so patiently and as a team. Then they found the hole and they went for it. And that's really how they managed to secure the round. But the team play and the patience are the two big factors there from Kick not making a hasty move. That's really what helped them secure that. And now we move on to the anti-eco. We're seeing three P90s and a Bison and an AK coming in here for, for Kick Gaming, the Portuguese guys. Working on that B, got two men playing at a distance, trying to make full use of the mid and long ranges, which should yield an advantage in theory, but uh, it's just taking it slow right now. They want to just make sure they don't have any issues on this anti-eco. Kyoshima with a very nice position here with the CZ-75. And look at this, they're actually gonna back away, very silently so also, to have a committed push on mid all together. And look at this, Hearts 
is there ready with the flash. So he is going to be left with a situation where he has to rotate quite a long distance because now they're here, they're here rushing up A. Here they go on short. GMX there, good position on pit, but with just a 5-7, what can he accomplish? He gets one frag, but that's all he's going to get. Gets shut down, bomb gets planted, and another easy victory here on the second round from kick. Once again, delivered by patience and considered play. But... The interesting thing on Inferno comes when we see the, the, the defense that Clan Mystic can put up. They're typically very, very strong in the defense, especially when we start seeing Kenny S playing mid. As he's such a versatile and strong AWPer aggressively, he can really find frags in very, very hard to deal with spots. He can be so fast. I mean, something I always see him do very consistently and very effectively is you know, running towards mid getting the pre-smoke, if he gets a good spawn that is, getting into the balcony and just an instant flick shot, like before anyone can even see that there's a player running on second mid, he's already found them in the head with the AWP and then he backs away. Stuff like that, you know, a little aggressive moves from Kenny S on mid are very interesting to see. But where will Kick find the weaknesses if there are any weaknesses to be abused? So Kick now uh, putting Kill Dreams up, up Banana, trying to take control of that. They got the bomb with him as well. They're spreading out along across the entire map here, still playing very defensively as they are still on anti-eco mode. And you can see, you know, Iron Man with the AK-47, he's keeping himself at the longest of ranges right now. Again, in, in these uh, eco situations, giving away a weapon like an AK is like the absolute biggest sin that you can actually have uh, achieved. And here it is, just making their way slowly up as a team. And there shouldn't be anything that can really stop this. It's like slow train up mid. And there you go, finally a player shows himself. And actually, Mutharis gets dinked there, so that is kind of nice, but still, a lot more is required to actually get these frags. And Kiyoshima gonna find himself a kill on Emotion, who drops a weapon for them. And that's an AK in the hand of Kiyoshima. Perhaps following yesterday's action, it could be one of the most dangerous players to have the AK in, in the hands of. So. Let's just check out him very briefly, see his position. Okay, he's going to make the save here. As his teammates go for some frags, go for some more aggressive plays, he's going to save that AK-47. And that is going to play a part in round four for the, the, you know, the full buy round of Clan Mystic. It's going to play a big part in the defense. And then there you go, Armin, going to flash out Kenny S from the library. No reading allowed for Kenny S. As Kiyoshima tries to defend with his, his uh, AK-47. And hopefully for him, he can keep this alive. He's going to have to make a frag to do it. And he can't do it. The jumping P90. And that is painful. But they're going to have the buy now. So this is where things get interesting. Very interesting indeed. So we still have some P90s. And they're not going to throw them away just yet, it seems. They have a lot of money built up. They're going to keep the P90s. So... With that fact, if they're keeping the P90s, you'd expect them to play aggressively because there's no pick value against rifles to P90s. There is only real like aggressive value to P90s in closed spaces, and that's exactly what they're going for. Aggression on apartments, which really fits the bill right now. And this is the best place they can have success. And I think Clan Mystic should think about uh, trying to at least get one man down a banana a bit, and that's what's happening to get some info on whether this is going to be committed on A or and whether they can float a man back for a four-man defense on A, or whether or not they're going to have to keep a two-man set up on, a, on B, rather. So things are slowing down. And this is really smart from Kick. Again, trying to force the rotation. And here it is, just, you know, just using all that time. There's still a lot of time in the round. And they have a strong setup on mid. They pushed the defense of Clan Mystic all the way as far back as it can really go, you know, graveyard, library, and pit. They can't really go far, further back than that. You run out of map. And... Now, they, I fear they may have taken too long. To, and they have a four-man setup here. They have one man on CT spawn for Clan Mystic. Here they go with the P90s, trying to make it happen here. And Kill Dreams will get a frag onto SF as Emotion taps down a player over at Graveyard. It's working out wonderfully for Kick Gaming as they decimate the defense of Clan Mystic, who have been found more than wanting in this round. Emotion going to back away pretty low. And Kiyoshima still in pit. Do they even know they're still a player in pit? Well, there's flashes flooding in, so I should think that they do. But what can he do from this position? He's got to find headshots somewhere, just scanning for that headshot. 
Scanning for that angle. 11 health, though. He's a dead man, no matter what happens here, surely. And he will get dealt with eventually. Hearts, the last man standing, looking for an exit frag through the smoke. But Kit Gaming are too smart for that. Going to evacuate the site from another location. So another round for Kit Gaming. And uh, you could really, you could really um, question the whole P90 thing there, but it ended up working out for them very well. They, they used the strength of the P90. It was a risky play to... It's, it's a play where you're kind of cutting corners and instead of getting the AKs, which of course are going to be way more versatile, give you way more options. They're going to use the P90s, which should kind of actually give a clue to Clan Mystic that they should have more power on Banana. And it should, and that the kind of strategy that they're going to work with is going to be more apartments based, more mid based. But here we go into the next round. We have Kick making a move up Banana. And there's a good defense. Look at this. He says 75 coming into play, taking down Emotion. And they slow things down once again, Kick Gaming. They haven't committed exactly on Banana just yet. They're still holding position here. They've got two men looking for the rotation or a pick as the player moves to A. That's not going to happen. Kiyoshima tries to get some information. And look at this. <laughs> Muturis is scared of a flank. And they have loads of time left in the round. So just keeping things slow right now. Kick Gaming, they don't want to give away anything right now. And we see you know, the M4A1S on Kenny S. And we see a Deagle on Kiyoshima. And they're just taking things so slowly, using all the time. Here is GMX. Gets found, gets rooted out of CT Arch. And they'll take over A without any further complaints. Now, as it's just Kenny S and Kiyoshima left. And they may decide to kind of slow things down and, and just not go for this retake here. I mean, saving the weapons could work out pretty well for them. Perhaps, perhaps we want to see Kenny, uh, or rather Kiyoshima, make this kill here. No, not going to manage to do it. I actually thought he was still on a Deagle, but no, he actually found an AK. So kind of a big loss to to lose an AK, but it's all right. Kenny S is going to make a frag back onto Kill Jins. He's going to get hunted now, though, and he cannot find the frag there. So he's going to get taken out as well. So very responsible, responsible from Kick Gaming, who managed to eliminate all the remaining weapons for Clan Mystic at the end of the round. And Clan Mystic, they're able to go for the buy now. We see Kenny S with the AWP. And let's just jump onto him for the start of the round. I think he got a great spawn. So we might see one of those really aggressive AWP shots. But actually, he's just going to go for a standing one on T-Slope. Gets it. Look at how flawless, how seamless it is. Looking for the next shot. Oh, my God. Okay, no. It was actually SF getting the frag there. I was tricked into thinking it was Kenny S. But Kenny S with that quick frag opening up the round. Putting the presence on mid. And with the defense on Banana, it's really coming together for Clan Mystic in this round. Just good execution all around. And they're on a four versus two advantage. So we'd be quite surprised if we see Kit Gaming taking this one. But if we look in, onto the uh, positions here of RMM and Kill Dreams, if they're able to make, maybe make a pick, they can actually you know, put it to a two on three. And they have a lot to work with because there's still 50 seconds left in the round. Let's see what happens here. Looks like they are kind of committing towards mid here. They're, they're waiting for a peak. One of them is waiting for a peak, at least. Getting that easy pick, there's a lot of value to having the patience to wait for that because it can really be game changing. But we have a two, two set up, two on A, two on B, and Kenny S is just immaculate with his play. It is unquestionably very effective, and he's even going to get men as well. So they slowed it down. They tried to salvage something from that round, but it was just the opening was just so, so strong from Clan Mystic. And once again, you know, Kenny S with that first pick on slope, that weakened the banana push, and that's where the frags were found by SF. And then all of a sudden, they lost three players. And so it was a very well, well done combined effort from Clan Mystic at the start. Oh dear, Kenny S, this is what we were talking about before as well. Look at this. Getting really aggressive with the AWP angles. He misses the flick shot, unlike Kenny S, but at least he gets the, the smoke in on the, st on the stairs there. Repositions, can swap out with his teammate. So you can see that they know, really know how to play this very well. And look at all the players surrounding mid. Another miss shot from Kenny S. It looks straight on him, but he must have been moving when he took the shot. Oh, Amen. 
tossing over the grenades. Looks like they're circling around for a hard B push here. It comes straight up banana. Hearts has got the call right now, throwing in the grenades behind him. He's going to go all the way to the back of the site. He needs help fast. He's got to delay. It's going to be tough to do that. His help gets cut off, and now they're just marching into the bomb site, and it looks too easy for them. Kenny S could save the day here with these orb shots. Doesn't manage to connect the next one. It's a two on one though. Iron Man, the last man standing. He's got 15 health left. And Kenny S is really low, but he's got a player flanking him. There he goes above the coils. Gonna just play it slow. And there it is. Kiyoshima able to take down Iron Man. So it was a nice, nice idea from Kick to hit B hard after. You could see that it was completely the correct play. As we have kind of the perfect knowledge of what's happening. You know, we saw that they they kind of forced a rotation, or at least they felt like, uh, from their perspective, they felt like what they had done should have forced a rotation. And indeed, there was only one player left alone on beat. They hit it hard. They got there. They cut off the first, you know, the reinforcements initially, but they couldn't get the bomb down in time. The smokes weren't there, and Kenny S took advantage of that. So here we go. We've got to push up on the apartments, but there's a two-man setup in the pit. This is gonna work wonderfully here. Kyoshima, first man, they're gonna look at him, they're gonna be focused on him, and little do they know, they've got GMX standing right next to him, and he's gonna take down our man. This setup, perfect, Kyoshima, GMX. Such a lovely combination on pit right there to completely decimate the aggression of Kick. Who now can go into, actually they're choosing to go for a, an eco here with some CZ75s thrown into the mix. I think they could have scrapped together a, a I guess it would have been a, not the best of buys, but could have thrown some Galils together, but they decided not to do that. Just gonna go for a quick, fast push up on B. Here they go. I remember the first man completely flashed right now. Managed to <laughs> at least get to pull. And SF, great angles here. Beautiful crossfire coming in from the B defense. And that's cleaned up without any complaints as well. So four to five now, this, the round score. And kick. They've lost their initial momentum. They did so well at the start of the game. But Clan Mystic, now they're able to come back into this. And again, let's, let's take a look at uh, how Kenny S decides to open up the round. I think he got a decent spawn again. And uh, perhaps not decent enough. He's ready, ready with the, the grenade there. A flash over to allow himself to peek in. Doesn't spot anything. We have only one player working apartments. And I remember providing some spam onto the bedroom from, from the second mid position. And here we go, we have, let's see, who is it? It is Muteris over in the balcony. He's gonna drop out of the balcony actually, which tells us a lot. And look at this, Kenny S, so aggressive with his positioning. Managing to catch Muteris. And that should tell them everything they need to know about what's happening. From Kenny S being there so aggressively, not seeing any other players after taking the frag. They haven't rotated very quickly yet though, and it looks like Kick is now all over the B bomb site. Bomb is trying to get planted by Fox. He's got it in his hands here. Just gonna go straight for the plant. There it is behind the coils, behind the grill. And he's gonna get that bomb down as Clan Mystic hopelessly spam through the smoke, trying to find a frag. SF will find one, looking for the tap down on the second. He's gonna get it. RMN falls, emotion as well. And there's just nothing that Kick can do to salvage the defense here. And great response from Clan Mystic. So I, I think they were a little bit slow on the rotation. I think Kenny S's uh, information told them a lot. But, you know, there, there's always a little bit of uh, time for the information to come from a player and for it to be processed with what they know. And then, you know, result in a decision. But it did work regardless. They cleaned up very well. The plant went down, so the money did go to kick to allow them to do a full buy on this round. Full grenades, full AK and head armor and Kevlar and everything. So they're feeling pretty good about this buy, but they really need to win this one. Their money situation is terrible. Oh wow, look at the wall banging there. Already Kyoshima down to 50 health. Doesn't even matter, Muteris with a headshot. That's opened up apartments a little bit. So what, what do they decide to do? They got loads of time here. Oh, Emotion just tapping down Kenny S as well. So completely open on the A bomb site. They got three players. This is the dilemma of Clan Mystic. Three players, two bomb sites against five AK wielding, very angry terrorists for Kick Gaming. That is not something that you can really find a good solution for. 
So it looks like they're, they're deciding Keep Gaming to move up towards Banana. And Iron Man caught with a grenade out. And that is a great opportunity for Clan Mystic. And now, oh, wow. Muter is coming from Boiler. Completely catching GMX off guard. So this actually evens things up massively. It's actually two on four. But, and okay, they're, they're making the right call, going for A now. If they've gone into to B, there could have been a chance for some frags from Hearts. But looking good now for Kick, who made the right call back onto A. And Hearts is going to find himself a one-on-one, -on -one, which he's going to lose. Fox going to come in for the frag there. Six to five now, the score. So interesting things. Clan Mystic now, after the start of the game, have bounced back. They are taking a lot of favor from these rounds, and their economy is booming. It is quite frankly booming. They're all quite affluent at this point. And once again, we can check how can he has decides to open up the round with his AWP. Because, I mean, as he tends to get a bit aggressive with his AWP, losing your AWP player or the AWP player making frags is often a very telling factor in the rounds that can help or really cripple your team. It's a big investment. It can win rounds or it can lose them. And Kenny S not going to find anything there, so he's going to have to fall back. And we have Kick Gaming working on both sides of the map. They haven't made any ground in apartments yet. And SF is uh, looking for any cheeky player over at Logs. Got three players around short here, one moving back towards CT Arch. So it's all about the waiting game. Kick do like to use around time. That is something we've seen here from Kick. They like to. And, and look at what it's doing. We're seeing a lot of movement from Clan Mystic, a lot of repositioning, a lot of rotations. And here now, finally, they decide to go for it. Around 40 seconds, they're in. And Kiyoshima completely blinded. And now SF and his teammate have to rotate through. There is an incendiary in his hands. Kenny S coming in with a nice AWP shot. Got SF taking down Muterus as well. So they do get the plan on B. So very good confusion. Look at how much movement they forced from Clan Mystic here. Kick outplaying them in that perspective, but they're losing players. Three on three now, Fox equalizing, emotion giving them the man advantage now. As we move three on two, Kenny S with that, you know, swapping for an M4. He knows he needs to get close range. He needs to get down and dirty with that M4, and he's gonna do exactly that GMX, opening up with two frags. It's all in King Kill Dreams. He catches Kenny S in the back. It's a one-on-one -on -one GMX. The bomb is ticking really fast here, and Kill Dreams is gonna go for it, and he gets the frag as well, taking down GMX. And that's going to be another round for Kick Gaming. Very well played from Kick Gaming to salvage that round. It wasn't looking super good at the start, but they managed to confuse Clan Mystic, put in a lot of uh, rotation, a lot of movement from the players of Clan Mystic, and that enabled them to destabilize the defensive lines enough to break through onto B and get the bomb down and get enough of a decent setup that they could win it out from there on. So Kenny S now on the start of this next round. He's going to be hungry to make something happen. Oh my god, Fox with the tapping. Oh my god, and Kenny S is not happy. GMX even picking up the, the AWP and taking down Fox. Kenny S saying in the chat that he's so unlucky and that was, I wouldn't call that unlucky, I would call that heartbreaking. So Clan Mystic cleaning up house right now over on the B side as well. They've kind of stopped aggression. There's no ground being gained for Kick Gaming. When all said and done, Kick Gaming has still managed to get seven rounds out of this half, so it's a very competitive game on Inferno so far. So, right now, things slow down a lot because there's a lot of time left, and the idea from Kick really should be to... I mean, I guess you can play this many ways. The most standard way is going to be combining both players, because the CTs have three players to spread between two sites, basically. You can't have both sites be, or one of the sites be completely naked. And you can see Hearts there, managing to take down RMN. And now Muterus is left alone. And you can see that they still have a player, so it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one here. And usually what you want to do is use your man advantage. That's the, that's the idea, because they have, again, three players separated between two sites. Maybe you get lucky, maybe you get the site where there's, where there's uh, one man who doesn't have f uh, fast reinforcements. Take him down really fast, and then you can get the bomb down. So. They decided to split up and it didn't work out, so we have a 6-7 to seven scoreline now in favor of Kick Gaming, and we're seeing a very even half, first half between these two teams for the first match of this best of three in the GSL eGaming Bets Cup, and here it is, the chaos ensues right now on Banana as they charge up, and the incendiary dealing 
a fair amount of damage. In come the grenades. It feels like they're committing here. Just lining up those grenades. It's, it's surely going to be B right now. They're charging in. Can they make it happen? Deagle's coming out. AK spraying. Bullets raining in. It's going to be Iron Man. He's going to take down Hearts as well. But Kenny S in for the very last frag. And we move into the last round of the first half. 7-7 seven to seven the score now as things remain very tight between Clan Mystic and Kick Gaming. And I've got to say that I am a fan of both of these teams. Always like to see Kick Gaming performing. Or Kick Esports, rather. Always like to see Kick Esports playing and also Clan Mystic. You've got to love the flair that they bring to the game. And that's a great opening frag from Kenny S. Here, there you go, Kyoshima watching, watching the guardian of the bedroom right now. Guardian of the apartments. And that's another frag for him. As we move closer and closer into a, a victory in, in this first half, 8-7 to seven, should go towards Clan Mystic. But look at this, the bomb's going down as we had some very nice moves coming in from Kick. As they circled around the mid, catching off guard the Clan Mystic players. And Hearts is now the last man standing. Emotion's very weak, and Fox, he's at least killable. But there you go. The last round going to go to Kick Esports as they make it 8-7. to seven. And, they, and that's going to be very, very even first half. So you can't really call it. They're both teams playing incredibly evenly in this first half. Clan Mystic, they played super well yesterday. They had a lot of dominant games. But uh, Kick really showing their strength on Inferno so far. And we have the, the next map will actually be Nuke. So Clan Mystic, they are very strong on Nuke. So this, this really needs to be a win for Kick. So here we go. Into the pistol round. The ever important pistol round. We see a couple of cc 75s coming in for Kick as they try to defend. And look at this, it's just a graveyard created over at the banana by Clan Mystic, just killing all the players who defended there. And there will be one frag coming in onto Kiyoshima, but I mean, that's not gonna help them too much. The bomb is down, Fox is there alone at the moment. Even if he gets a frag or two, it's still gonna be a terrible situation. In comes Muthuris and he's trying to make things work here, but it's just an uphill struggle. It's two on two now, so they are actually making an e a good effort here, but the bomb is still ticking away, and it's gonna start coming into play. The time that they have to actually make the defuse, and all the frags coming in from Fox. Lovely stuff there right at the end, but does he have time to get the defuse? Looks like there's a kit, but is there enough time? Oh, not enough time, barely enough time. Uh, that's gonna be the terrorist taking that one down. Well played. Both sides uh, performing pretty well there. I mean, to be honest, Kick managed to do that retake. It's, it was pretty damn clutch from them to get that retake. Two on four there. But uh, it's going to be eight to eight then. So moving into the next round, we get to see how, you know, how Kick decides to play with the pistols. They have four CZ-75s. Clearly, you know, they are a fan of the CZ-75. Oh my god, Kyoshima just dropping emotion there. His limp body over at the car. Takes another frag as well, working on Banana. So, so far they're just staying at range, keeping it to their advantage, slowly making their way to the site. Fox might get sneaky here, creeping through the smoke as GMX takes down Uterus, and we have Fox going down as well. So, the very expected result of the pistol round. We haven't seen many stacks today from the pistol rounds. We haven't seen many combined aggressions on the CT side from pistol rounds. The the coolest pistol round we saw was from uh, from NIP so far on this map today, where they decided to have a very far back defense with deagles on key players, such as, uh, I believe it was Forest, basically making the strategy work. And they managed to actually win that one as well, I believe, playing it very well together. And not a lot of teams investing in deagles on the, the eco rounds. I mean, it is still an expensive weapon, so you really need to see a return on it. So it can be quite difficult to want to make that investment. But here we have Clan Mystic working on apartments. They've given up Banana completely. It is quite clear to us that it's going to be mid. 
and apartments. Here they go. Nays coming in, slowly making their approach. Gonna be smoking off short here and taking over CT Arch. Emotions there. There goes the one bullet. The repeak, not successful. Clan Mystic all over. Library all over. The A bomb site at this point in time. And there's no one left to defend but Mutaris. And he's gonna just run in from the boiler. And that's it. So very, very tough stuff there for them. So let's see if they're going to be able to turn things around on the next buy. He's got Fox there with an AWP in his hands. And uh, let's see if he's able to use that to his benefit. So here we are now. Making the move on through. Bomb dropped on T-Slope and Fox just ruthless with the AWP. Dropping a player on T-Slope. This is really going to hurt now because... If they were planning to make an aggression on Banana without the players, they can't. Ha I mean, it's it's just very difficult without three or more players to, to make something happen. Then, so how are they gonna how are they gonna do this? They can they can actually make it happen. They got GMX over at Boiler, so they could actually try to make Banana work with GMX going for the flank, which is a pretty standard play that a lot of teams like to make. But they go for the mid play. Great pop flash there for GMX. Takes down Fox. They've got control of mid now. But how are they going to play this? They could actually cycle back, or they could go through CT spawn, or they can go onto the site. Both players are great. Moving in onto the position of pit. It's going to be very tough. They have the grenades to do it. They're going for it. What, a couple of them going down, though. Good defense coming in right there from kick. And let's make that an excellent defense coming in from kick, as it's just Kyoshima left. And uh, Kenny S yes, is uh, not happy with uh, the spam through the smoke there, getting taken down. He is not happy at all. 10 to 9 now the score. Clan Mystic and Kick keep, keeping things very, very tight. So let's see now what's going to happen from the AWP of Kenny S again. Always like to see how he plays to start the round. Again, the start spawns, the timing that can happen can open up some very interesting angles and aggressive shots. But we can see that he didn't get anything off at the start there. And of course, you know, Kick Esports is going to be very aware of you know, Kenny S with the AWP in his hands. Very aware that you don't want to give any frags away to him by challenging him. Why would you challenge him in a bad spot if he's got better timing than you? It's not usually a good spot to go for it, unless you're feeling super confident. And I'd love to see them take over apartments from this position. We've got SF in position to do just that. Emotion by the sandbags. So if we have Hearts coming up here, he's going to have to duel him, and he spots him and falls back. He doesn't want that. That fight is bad. He knows it's very bad for him. Even if he gets the kill, the trade is going to happen from the teammate, so he backs away. But he did his job. He, he provided a presence on Banana. Kick Esports are afraid to, to stick their necks out on Banana now, so he's denying information as his teammates push up apartments silently. And SF is going to... Get the angles on boiler soon. And Kenny S looking for the shots here over through apartments onto the A bomb site. They are getting ready. It's all going to happen soon. All five have regrouped for this push. They drop down into pit. They're going to be taking over the A bomb site here. Oh, a team kill coming in there onto Kyoshima as we have Fox dropping the player on graveyard. They're holding down the site. The site is compromised, but they are holding the line at the last possible place they can do so and kill dreams are looking for the shots but the cts win with time and look at this <laughs> look at that display right at the end 10 to 10 now the score thing is getting really close between these guys impossible to separate them from one another but kick esports the pressure is really on them as i said to win this they they really are going to have a tougher time on nuke as clan mystic do perform so well on nuke and right here, we have Kill Dreams taking up a defensive position. We'd love to see a bit more aggression again coming in onto Banana. As we see some aggression coming in onto Apartments, actually, from Clan Mystic. They're actually making their way up there. See SF looking for the Deagle shots around here. Lots of smoke, though. It's really hurting their, their you know, take of this area. And look, Iron Man is in a good position over at Quad to deal with the player in Boiler. Kenny S in Boiler as well. They got Deagles, a couple of Deagles in the mix. So it's all about the pistols right now. If they could secure a gun for one of the players, it would be really nice. But Iron Man is not in a great position. If, you, if they try to steal his weapon, it can be defended by a kick. 
but they can't even get the frag on him just yet. They got him half health. He finally goes down, but he gets the support from his teammate to drop Kenny S. And they're kind of stuck over at Boiler still. Kyoshima really should move out of this position, but they haven't dealt with the guy on CT Arch. So they have to look two ways. It's just too difficult. Falling back to drop the bomb. And here he goes again for the next peak. And they, they remedy it. They can peak both sides now, but Fox will deal with SF. And SF had some backup though. There's another guy. Okay, Hearts is there. Now Hearts goes down to Fox as well. Kyoshima finally last man standing. Gets the headshot on Fox, but it's all over for him. 11 to 10 right now. And we move into another buy round. Lots of money. Lots of money for both teams. All being spent and AKs all around for Clan Mystic. Would be great to see a fast play from them on one of the sites right here. So they're taking it slow right now. Kenny S working the lap, looking for the headshots, and he's going to get dropped by Fox. Kenny S is not having a good game right now. He's, he's losing a lot of those kinds of jewels, especially to Fox. I think Fox has been the main culprit as well. So it doesn't feel great for Kenny S right now as he gets killed immediately whilst he challenges. A lot of spam coming through the smoke. Mute's going to fall back a little bit. And let's see what happens now. As they have at least pushed him back. So they can try to take over apartments again. But it's pretty hard for them to know that that's going to be safe. They don't know how far back or how far pushed kick is actually at the moment. But they're going to make this with the, the grenades. Getting the smokes over. So that's going to that's gonna cover them as they make the approach. That's going to stop uh, shots coming in from pit, or at least that's the idea. And there go the grenades. And here they are charging through to CT Arch. Oh dear, Fox does grab the kill into GMX. There is the trade though. And they're going in right all from that library side. Oh, beautiful tapping from Kyoshima. There's one more on the bomb site. They're going to spot him right now. RMN going to get dropped as well. Kyoshima, he stands alone against two players from Kick Esports. Gets the bomb planted right there. But here is the one on two. Takes down the first player. Now just a one on one. Kyoshima just clutching for his life right now. And can he get the last man? He cannot. Kill Dreams gets the kill and the defuse for the round. Going to 12-10 right now for Kick Esports. And Kyoshima, he is a clutch beast. But this time, it just wasn't going to go his way. And, oh my god, this game is so close right now. But the money's looking a lot better for Kick at the moment. And we have another buy, of, of course, from the Clan Mystic side. But they're starting to get really low on the money. So they really need to plant this round. Or after the loss here, Kick are going to have a free one from the anti-eco. Unless Clan Mystic can do something awesome. So here we go again. Got a slow start to this round. As the Beast players you know, are ready to put those delayed smokes in. Great catch from Fox onto GMX. Again, you know, Kick are finding those easy frags. Or the easy opening frag at the start of the round. Which really cripples Clan Mystic. They have to now change... If they had an idea, like a strict strategy they were going to go for, they have to change it up a little bit to accommodate the, you know, the four versus five situation now. And you can see they're all cycling back right now towards Banana. It looks quite clear to us it's going to be Banana right now. So just waiting for the last man to rejoin them. And they have already three men from Kick Esports there. But look at this. This could go badly for Fox. But no, he's going to make the shot on the Kyoshima. That forces the move forwards from Clan Mystic. But they're going to take him down after he makes two frags. Already mad value coming in from Fox's play there. He's done enough. Kill Dream's going to come through the smoke. SF and Kenny S are doing very well. But it's a one on two now for SF. Can he make this happen? He's going to get the bomb down. Or he's going to try to. Goes for the fake. Gets flashed quite badly right now. Crawling by the fountain, looking for those headshots. He could have gone for the plant right now, but now it's too late. There's no time for the plant now. The bomb is not down yet. RMN is close. Mute is close. He's gonna, oh no, he's faking it again to root them out. He gets the first headshots, trying to spray down the second one. SF, can he find the shot? He cannot. And that's gonna be the round for a kick. And look at the money. It's, it's just enough for a buy, so that's all right, but Kick, they edge closer and closer and closer to this victory on map number one. And it's, again, super important for them. Would be expecting a three-mapper if we go to nuke. 
But who knows? We've seen crazy things happen today. You know, we saw Hellraiser's managing to take down NIP in a best of three. Lovely shot once again from Fox. So consistently killing Kenny S in mid. And again, a four versus five situation. I wouldn't like to say that Kenny S is tilting a little bit there, but but either way, it's a great result coming in from Kick. And Fox going to miss the next shot there. Movement throwing off his bullets as GMX is, you know, winning the ground. Winning the ground there for his team. Up on mid, and look at that. SF going to catch Moot, who's out of position, moving in for the peak. And SF was ready for that. Clan Mystic now taking over the A bomb site. They should have this round in the bag now. Four on two. Bomb goes down. A plant for apartments or short. And this should be ABC from, from here on out. They've even smoked the site. So we have, of course, the save coming in. And Clan Mystic, do they decide to go for the hunt? They should work out very quickly here that, yeah, it looks like they have worked it out that uh, the remaining players of kick are going for the save. And they're both over here at the back on three boxes. Let's see if the Clan Mystic players can actually catch them over at B. As we jump to Fox, you can see that here he is. Makes the flick shot on the first one. There's another man though. Kyoshima is edging, but they're both hiding. They're not gonna be they're not gonna be found there. So here we go into the next round. 13 to 11 the score. Clan Mystic trying to close up the gap as much as they possibly can to eventually take the lead again. But there's not many more rounds to play with. We're on round 25 of 30. And let's see if Kenny S cannot die right at the start of the round. Looks like he's okay. He's not going to challenge mid again just at the start. And we have a walk up. Oh no, Fox manages to make the frag over from B this time. And Kyoshima does take him down. GMX is the one that falls for Clan Mystic as Kick go on the rotation right now. But Clan Mystic, they have the bomb site. The smoke is down to cover them, to cover CT spawn. The plant is going down. And there's one flank flanking player coming from Banana right now. But Clan Mystic, they have a decent post plant setup despite the man disadvantage. Kick don't have many weapons going for them. And Hearts takes down Muterus again. So things are looking very bad for for the CT side, Clan Mystic. Oh my god, for the uh, CT side Kick Esports as Kenny S goes nuts with the AWP and they manage to take another round. 12 to 13 now. Clan Mystic are doing a wonderful job on the aggression and despite the fact that Fox got a a uh, first kill there, it actually ended up hurting them that he was in such an aggressive position that that the trade could happen immediately. That was very well played from Clan Mystic to react very quickly and not allow Fox to escape. If Fox escapes that, that uh, spot, it would be a completely different round. So again, Kyoshima moving forwards. Fox is not here this round. He's back to his usual tricks over at mid. And of course, it is pistols for kick. So this is going to allow Clan Mystic to even the situation up again. It's like they're going to make a play on B. Or that is what it looks like at the moment. You can see the money. It's going to allow kick to buy next round after this. So should go 13-13. We'll see another buy from kick. That's how things should actually appear. Should go. And we have Clan Mystic taking it slow right now, which is good. It's good for them. And Kick, they haven't really got much information. They're going to have a man peeking mid soon, so they should figure this out, actually. Now they know. They have to know it's B. They're going to be like initiating the rotation immediately. And here they go. My, oh, Emotion with a beautiful position. Right in the corner there, taking down two players with a CCS 75. Now, as they should be able to get the plant down, but there's just three of them left alive. And look at that. Kenny S gets a wonderful frag through the smoke. Stupendous stuff from the Frenchman with another one through the smoke. And that's going to secure the round 13 to 13. We are so, so tight now with all these matches today. Couldn't ask for something better. And uh, <laughs> we have a lovely bit of smack talk going on between Fox and Kenny S going in the chat there. But 13 to 13, it's almost over on the first map. And Kyoshima not going to be able to find anyone there, but is you know he's in, he's taking that spot. He's preventing Kick from taking control of Banana, getting the information they need to help them make the decisions that they need to make to make the proper rotations here. And so far we've got Clan Mystic. They're working heavily on apartments here, making a lot of noise. And they got the bomb dropped towards T Slope here to allow them the flexibility of play once they realise you know where is the vulnerability. 
What is the, you know, where do they punch the hole in the CT defense? And look at this, Kenny S, great shot onto emotion. He wanted information and he got a bullet in the brain from Kenny S. So right now it's looking increasingly good for Clan Mystic because we ha they have a player floating on to B now to provide support. The Clan Mystic have not really moved much yet. They've got another player in apartments. They've got some kind of circling back around for the bomb to move towards Banana. But the problem is, is that the smoke went down and Kyoshima just thinned out the ranks. But GMX with a jump straight across gets caught by the M4 of RMNS. RMN has now killed Dreams. Is setting himself up. Finds Kenny S. And that is an important frag. It's four on two now. S7 hearts remain for Clan Mystic. Had a great start to the round, but things are falling apart around them. Kick going for the retake. And so far, it's looking quite strong for them. A couple of the players fairly weak, though. But they should be able to do this. Okay, great nades coming in from SF there. Here they go, Ironman. Trying to take down Hearts on Paul. There you go. Easy stuff. Very well synchronized with his teammates. They'll get the defuse and Kick will get... <laughs> they can find the bomb. We'll get the uh, defuse there. <gasps> no kit, actually. No kit. This is uh, this is really interesting. Yeah, it should be. Okay, he's fine. He's fine. He's fine. All right. So, the CT side wins. And we have 14 to 13 now. Kick two rounds away from taking this map, which they need desperately to make sure they avoid the impending doom that looms over their heads, which is in the form of next map nuke against Clan Mystic. But Kick Gaming showing really strong play so far, so I would expect a very close game at this point on nuke as well. Unless they have something, they've been drinking the same water as uh, as Excess Honor were yesterday, now Hellraisers, then they should be fine on nuke. But at the moment, we see a bit of aggression. Emotion trying to get to Sandbags. They see him, though. His position's compromised. That position's all about surprise. And right now, he's sticking in there. He's, okay, he's finally leaving. He has 14 points of health left, so very, very low. But they actually made that play. They got the value from that play. They managed to make a kill, get Kiyoshima to 5 health. And that shuts down any aggression on Banana. They could just li leave Kill Dreams there and allow, allow uh, their teammate to rotate. And it should be quite clear they're moving on A right now and as we move over towards A we should see exactly what's happening here over at Quad. You see RMN locking it down. Kiyoshima with a great response now but SF is going to go down and Kiyoshima 5 health. He's doing anything in this round and that is heartbreaking right now for Clan Mystic as they're so close to losing this one. Kick are going to go to 15 rounds unless Kyoshima, with his his ninjutsu, is able to pull the wool over the eyes of Kick, but that's not what's going to happen. They will take him down, so no problems there. 15 to 13. Kick one round away now from winning map number one in this best of three for the GSL E Gaming Bets Cup playoffs match to get their place in the grand final, which will be the next match after this best of three which will be against Hellraisers, which is, of course, if you missed the news, Exasonic Dragons, who managed to defeat NIP on... It took him three maps, but they managed to do it. But here you go. Now the next round commencing. They're all in second mid. And look at that. Fox is there. He spots the one player and does take him down. That really, really hurts the rush now. Because now, next time, they, they try to, if they try to rush a choke point now, it's the assumption is you're going to lose the first man. And they already lost the first man before even rushing through. But here they go anyway. They've got SF to provide support through apartments. Here he goes. They are doing very well, though. Clan Mystic are making a massive statement. Just wrecking the defense on A. Absolutely wrecking it. And it's just emotion left. As we can see, he's, he's had enough. He's like, yeah, no. No, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. And he's going to go for that save with this weapon, and we can take the moment to uh, check out the money situation. We can see that the save is very, very needed because Emotion's going to have to drop for a teammate, really, next round. Probably for RMN, I suppose, or Fox. It's gonna, they're going to need a drop, so very important that Emotion actually saves this weapon. And Clan Mystic, they should be on the hunt here, but they don't actually want to lose their weapons either, despite winning the round. Um, actually, no, I, I guess they could afford to go for this, but it's fine. That it's, it's a fine situation either way. 15 to 4, 14 rather, 15 to 14. Kick one round away, and Clan Mystic, they're close to tying things up. And 
I guess that means that that's uh, <laughs> kick one because go TV. So, yeah, go TV. Go TV. So <laughs> looks like the first map won by kick, which means we'll move into map two very shortly, guys. So stay tuned. We'll prevent that from happening again, I'm sure, as uh, Kick Gaming move on to their match point as we go on to Nuke, which should be a great map for Clan Mystic. So stay tuned to find out what's going to happen here live on Face It TV in the GSL eGaming Bets Cup. All right, guys, psych. So it wasn't GoTV getting you know, killed or whatever. It was actually a map change because uh, you know, with the GoTV delay, it was actually 15-15. So the round was won, but it is overtime now. So this is deciding, of course, the winner of map number one. So we'll jump in the game. We've got max rounds five, I saw, there, there on the uh, console, MR5. So here we are. So overtime, it's always interesting to think about. Now we have kick and clan mystic playing so close to each other this is one of those like we didn't i don't think we learned a huge amount about where weaknesses are for either team a lot of the rounds came for either side in not in necessarily consistent manners we didn't see necessarily them running one strategy over and over again having success there we saw a, a big mix we saw a lot of a lot of plays where delay came into 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 the plan and forcing rotations and making the call on the spot. And that seemed to be where both teams were finding a lot of the rounds. So with that style, we're jumping into the first round of the overtime between Clan Mystic and Kick. Of course, this is the GSL eGaming Bets Cup. The winner of this best of three series is going to face Hellraisers, which is Exus on the Dragons in the grand finals, playing for that a chunk of that $2,000 prize purse, 1300 of which goes to number one. And here we have Kenny S, you know, jumping on the logs, trying to find himself an angle. But there's nothing going on just yet. And uh, there, as we get the minimap back, we can see exactly what's going on with Clan Mystic as they move around. They do have a lot of space they can work with at the moment. Problem is, is that for them is that the, at, at this round, we have Clan Mystic deciding, let's play super defensive. Fox, though, he might just get a frag here on Boiler. Falls back. And they're just charging, and he does get one kill. Can they get Fox down, though? RMN defending very well from Pit. Looking for the next frag, so he's going to find one. Surely having a very tough time there. Oh, just catch SF as well. And GMX, the last man standing here for Plant Mystic. And he is going to be able to take down the player on Pit. The second frag found as well. Oh, dear, the player so close. So motion, and somehow, some way, GMX with a stupendous frag right at the end. He has a grenade in his hand. No problem. Quick switch onto the AK, and motion gets dropped. Beautiful stuff there from GMX right at the end there to clutch that. I think he's as surprised as us that he actually managed to do that. 
And that is what a way to uh, kick to win the first round there. In this overtime. Max rounds five, guys. For this overtime. And I do like, actually, how Kick played the defense, though. They, they played it super defensively, which can work out really well sometimes, giving ground to your opponent. But here we have the entirety of Clan Mystic approaching silently. But here come the grenades, sailing over the roof at the B-bomb site. And in they charge. Emotion goes down straight away, as does Kill Dreams. And that is a horrible, horrible thing to see if you're an A player for Clan Mystic right now. And they're just like, nah, we're, we're done. They're going to just chill, keep their weapons alive. And I, I don't think you can ever fault that call. It's, it's a five-man post plant set up on, on B. Yeah, you're not going to try challenging that. So the interesting thing now becomes, can Clan Mystic hunt down the weapons? And if we look at the positions here for Fox there, he might find someone soon. And we have the other players around the apartments there. So Fox is going to find a frag as well. And Muterus might get found in the bedroom. They actually killed someone there, so they don't know that he's there. And Kenny S is again uh, throwing out the question marks. Um, do we have a pause? Looks like we have a pause. And no. Okay. Confusing times here as we all try to work out the situation. The, play the players are all like confused as, as confused as I am, and uh, <laughs> MR2. <laughs> anyway, um, moving into the next round here, we are going to see how things shape up. And live question mark from GMX. Every everyone is confused right now. Everyone is confused. It's always great to see. Poor players. Poor players. And. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can read the chat with uh, the quality that you have available to you, but uh, Clan Mystic, yeah, MR5 16K indeed, so so there you go. I mean, confusion still all around, because they won as two zeros, so yeah. Need to fix the settings on the server, and we'll get things started again. <laughs> I'm not sure already if they're going to decide to like replay it or go from two rounds. I mean... It's it's uh, it's a tough call to make for the admins. It's it's through the admins and not us, I guess, to make those calls and fix the server settings. So hopefully they get that resolved super quickly, so we can jump back into the into the game, and and uh, then we can we can get things going and can find out who's going to win map number one. To be honest, I'm just really excited for Nuke at this point, but we need to find out who's going to win this one to really see what the stakes are like. Because again, you know, it's a big deal if, if Kick if Kick can't win this. And Clan Mystic against uh, Hellraisers. That's that's a really interesting grand final for me. But I would love to see Kick Esports actually pulling out a massive result in a tournament with Clan Mystic and and uh, Exostana Dragons, Clan Hellraisers, and NIP actually being able to make the grand finals, potentially even win it. That would be a huge storyline. Especially for all the the fans of Kick Esports from Portugal, that'd be a massive story. And Kick Esports has been such a long-running team. It's been around for so many years. I think since at least since 2003. It's it's a really old team, and it's always great to see them active in all the games here. And look at this, the challenge there over on Bananas is live. So moving forwards right now, Fox is going to make a quick. Flick shot there onto Kenny S to take him down. And things slow down again. We saw this story again and again, actually. You know, Kick were able to make the first quick frag, and then we saw Clan Mystic having to scrape together a contingency. And here is the contingency. They're moving up mid. This is a good conting contingency to go with. Fox does make the shot. He's so consistent. And now they have to charge through. There's emotion. He's going to make the frag. And this is the aggression completely shut down. Hiroshima's left with SF, but what can they do? Five men left alive right now for Kick Gaming. SF going to put loads of bullets into two players, trying to spray onto the third. Emotion, 19 points of health. Kyoshima's there. He's going to go down. Emotion, good save at the end of the round. SF with like really good spray control there, managing to almost take down three with one big spray, but, but uh, Kick getting the round there. 
All right, so this is, if you're just joining us, the first overtime between Kick and Clan Mystic. And if you missed it, you, want, you may want to watch the VODs to see uh, the match between NIP and Hellraisers. It was pretty awesome. Going all the way to the third map. So we have Kyoshima just holding the ground here. And again, this position is really important. Oh no, SF falling to Fox, who's... Fox is doing really, really well at being an aggressive author right now. He's, he's being very proficient. He's changing up his position a lot, keeping himself pre unpredictable, and he's catching them off guard here and there. And again, it's another round where they have to scrap together the contingency, and Fox taking another frag with his AWP onto Kenny S this time. It's, Fox is really starting to propel himself into the kind of man of the match position if Kick are able to actually win this one from the plays he's making at the start of the round. That really uh, alleviates a lot of pressure from Kick by making plays like that. And now, now Clan Mystic are in a really tough spot right now. Fox might just get another flick shot. He does get it onto Kyoshima. Now what do they do? They've got two players left. It's, a, it's almost an identical situation to last round. Hart's now the last man left standing. He is surely a dead man. He's one on four right now. If he can find the ace, it's going to be pretty amazing. He, he's going to go for the save, it seems. Pick up the orb, go for the save. That's actually a really smart way to play this. It's, it's pretty early on in this overtime, and saving that uh, orb right at the start has a lot of value, I think. So definitely a good play for him. Let's see if he can keep it alive, though, because I think he's going to get hunted right now. There's five seconds left in the round. They are encroaching upon his position slowly but surely. Hearts should be found, making even some noise right there. And he, there he's going to get found, and he hits the clutch shot onto a motion. He can breathe a sigh of relief, as can I. I thought he was dead man for sure right there. Two to zero now for kick. So they're doing a really good job. And it, it's, again, off the back of Fox's picks. I want to just check out Fox from the beginning of the round again. Now, let's see what he decides to do. He's going banana again here. Going to get a forward position with the AWP. Here comes the quick angle. No one to be spotted. So they don't have to contend with losing a quick man on uh, to Fox's AWP, his aggression with it, as it, he was. Uh, they were fortunate not to just run into him because his angles that he takes at the start of each round I can't, you know, he just gambles basically. And this time it didn't work out. Clan miss it, get lucky. They push on through mid. They push on through short. Can they break the site's defense? They're trying. Fox is really fast with the rotation because he's pushed so far up. And he's going to grab a couple frags with a 5-7. And now, because of Fox, they're able to hold down the defense. SF, last man against three in the pit. Do they even know he's there? It seems like they may not even know where he is. So this could be pretty huge for SF. Actually, no, there comes the nade. They know where he is. SF, it's going to be tough for him now. He's got loads of time, but nowhere to move. Let's see how he can do this. I believe in SF. I believe in him. Look at that. You can see the gun there. Gets the wall bang on RMN. There comes another flash. SF is fine with that. And he's going to be looking for the bomb very soon. That's basically all he can do because Kick aren't going to make a move. They aren't going to move a muscle until they hear that bomb getting picked up. They're going to go in for the peaks. Double peak. Very well coordinated. Very well played. And Fox grabs a third frag with a 5-7. And there you go. 3-0 to zero on the first half there for Kick. So, Clan Mystic. Can they match Kick's first half there on the first overtime between these two teams? And again, when you have an AWPA like Kenny S or Fox... It's just amazing how they can switch up the positions. And again, it is a bit of a gamble, but you saw it in that, in that spot. He was able to push Banana so hard that he had such a fast rotation time. So it's, it's a brilliant situation. It worked out so well for them. SF now on cam as we see him defending against an aggression here. They don't have any information. They just saw a bit of you know, a nade hero there. And there goes the smoke. So now they know nothing is coming at least immediately, whilst that smoke is up. So they just don't have the information yet. And so they're holding positions. This is just a solid hold of positions right now. It is the most standard setup that you can have. It's a little bit of a defensive setup on A. They're not really peaking, so they're struggling. They're starved for information right now. And we can see a lot of players flooding into the B-bomb site right now. 
And it's just everyone is blind right now. They managed to make their way to pull. SF is in the back of the site. They're going to have to deal with him. And they cannot get... He cannot get more than one frag there. Iron Man goes for the plant. He hasn't got the time. Has to pick off the Clan Mystic players who are now flooding in for the retake. Clan Mystic have a very solid chance here. The bomb did not go down just yet. There is no time for it to go down. This is just going to be a slugfest between the two remaining players of Kick who will try to salvage this situation on the B-bomb site. Backs against the wall. Fox gets dropped onto the floor as Iron Man tries to work his way out of the situation. And GMX silences him. It's going to be another round there. The kick. The kick with a good job. And how mystic. They've been doing very well so far in this in this uh, first map. But kick have been putting in surprising results. And I'm just loving look at that again. Kenny S bested by Fox's AWP skills. He's got a lot of momentum behind him. He's hitting his shots like a madman right now. And Kick off the back of Fox. Look to be doing very well in this uh, in this overtime right now, at least in this round. But what play are they going to make off the back of the pick there? There's a 2-2 split between the sites and Clan Mystic. Looks like they might go for a bit of a gamble. Oh, GMX going to pick off one, evening things up a little bit. Four and four. But they made the gamble. They're rotating. Both players out of the B bomb site and closer towards A. But now they're, they're like, okay, let's rotate back. We haven't seen anything clear on A right now. So they're resetting the setup, a 2 2 once again with a floater close to CT spawn. So they're really desperately looking for information right now. It is very tense. And here we go, kick. They're set up now. They're moving in. There goes the Molotov. That's going to force him to go. Great headshot just before he dies. Fox still from beyond the grave almost able to make. Things happen for Kick Esports as they should be able to get the bomb down here, but it was dropped. It's going to kill time. Emotion trying to go for the safe plant there behind the, the little barrels. Kills him at close range. One player behind calls can't make the reaction in time. And it's just GMX left. And with the AWP in his hands, AWP Asimov, even that skin is not going to save him in this situation. He's going to go for it. He gets taken out. One to one. One to one in this overtime. In the second half here. So things from Kick are still impressive. Very much liking the stuff coming out from them right now. I wonder who has uh, I wonder who has the biggest showing on the on the stream actually. If there's more Kick fans or more Clan Mystic fans, because both of these teams I think are fan favorites. So here we go again. Kick trying to make their way up with a man at least up on Banana. Kill Dreams wants to be that man. And Kenny S going to chime in with an AWP frag. So Kenny S putting himself back in the game with that AWP. And Fox, he is dangerous. So dangerous with that weapon right now. He's done so much damage with it. Look at this position. Boosted up into the tree. It is a very nice position. You can see over the smokes. If the smokes go down, that's part of the strength of this position. It's the main value that you get from it. And you can actually even leave a player there. If you want to leave a player in the sights, it's it's uh, not the easiest position to predict straight away. Kenny S with his ever watchful gaze, the guardian of the CT arch at long right now, and he does take down Fox. Big pick up there as they charge on in. Kenny S's orb frags incredibly important, and he takes the rest down. Beautiful stuff there from the sniper Kenny S from France. Clan Mystic. Bringing things back a little bit. And definitely looking really good right now. So can they keep it going, though? I'm going to jump onto Fox right here. As you can see, him tossing over the grenade right there into the mid. And looks like you know, he's just on an AK, so we're not going to see any interesting angles at the start of the round. Oh, my God. Kill Dreams. Why would you do that? What do the chickens do to you? So we have an interesting setup here from Clan Mystic. They actually have a player pushed down onto mid. Let's try and find out who it is exactly. So GMX and Kenny S they're pushed down mid. They're falling back now. So they actually got some information. There's two players on the CT spawn side of 
be one moving around through to coils now from construction. Kit gonna make their push on there, and there goes the Molotov to try to counter those spots that the CTs like to hide in, but no one's there. Hearts can't make the spam ma uh, matter through the smoke there. And the retake coming in. Oh, just at the last bullet, grabs the headshot. And again, we get, uh, we get the, <laughs> the map switch to nuke. That is anticlimactic. Well, sorry about that, guys. Um, hope that wouldn't happen again, but uh, it did. What can you do? What can you do? We'll try and uh, communicate so we can prevent that from happening again in the future. And we're going on to Nuke now, so that I guess that means that we had a winner. And all right, so moving on to the next map, Nuke Clan Mystic is definitely the favorite for this map, but we've seen some great stuff from Kick, so I'm really, really liking Nuke here. I'm, I'm anticipating a very close game on this map. So guys, we'll, uh, we'll be back after a break. We'll have all the information for you right after that break. So stay tuned for the next map on Nuke between Clan Mystic and Kick Esports. <laughs> 